In this video I'm going to use an oscilloscope to show a half wave rectifier and a full wave rectifier. Also I'm going to add a capacitor to both so you can see the effect of putting a capacitor, an electrolytic capacitor, in the circuit. Now this is going to be a partial filter because if I used a full filter like a pie filter all you'd see is a straight line and you wouldn't see any benefit from that. Okay I've got this hooked up on half wave and you can see the positive pulses. Now I'm going to hook up the 47 microfarad capacitor. Let's see if I can't stabilize that. There we go. And you can see that the 47 microfarad capacitor is filling in the gaps. But the gaps are pretty far apart, which means that the gap also goes deeper. And now I got this on AC, so to keep it on the screen. Okay. Now I'm going to hook up the other half. Now you can see that the peaks in between have been filled in, which means we have about twice as much current. Now I'm going to hook up the 47 microfarad capacitor. Let me stabilize that. You, know, you can see that the fill is a little higher and of course it's closer together. So that means that it's also easier to filter a full wave rectifier. Okay, there's full wave, half wave. Full wave, and half wave. Half wave, full wave. With the filter. I'm going to run the oscilloscope video again, but this time with the drawings. Half wave rectifier. half wave rectifier with capacitor
full wave rectifier. full wave rectifier with capacitor. I hope this video demonstrated to you the difference between half wave and a full wave rectifier circuit. Thanks for watching.